In the 21st century, we are all very familiar with global production and marketing of licensed character merchandise, from Walt Disney to Star Wars and beyond. But in October 1902, when Frederick Warren first published The Tale of Peter Rabbit, this concept did not really exist. However, as early as December 1903, Beatrix registered her Peter Rabbit doll at the patent office. Beatrix showed as keen an interest in the production and detail of what she called her sideshows as she did to the production of her little books. She wanted the products to be manufactured in Britain and decried the fact that products produced abroad could be imported without any tariffs that meant that it was cheaper for other countries with lower overheads to produce items. Unfortunately, it is very difficult to track the full extent of the early merchandise, and this is an ongoing research project. Examples of an early Frederick Warren trade catalogue, circa 1913, are known to exist, and copies are in the National Trust collection and in the Coatson collection. From the 1920s, we are able to know more about some of the items that were produced, thanks to the small leaflets that were often tucked into copies of the books sold. These are a valuable source of information and include prices of many of the items. This is an ongoing project in itself, trying to date these leaflets. Examples of some of the earlier merchandise can be seen on show at Hilltop, including the wonderful and detailed Austrian cold painted bronzes, the prototype of the flat wooden calendar plaque presented to her by Warns in 1919, featuring Peter Rabbit with the paper calendar for 1920 still attached, and of course the Grimwade's China. During Beatrix's lifetime, a wide variety of sideshows were produced, including a special bookshelf for the books, rubber toys, puzzles, wallpaper friezes, the Peter Rabbit race game, ceramic tiles, magic lantern slides, Grimway china, small Austrian cold painted bronzes, slippers, handkerchiefs, plays, painting books, papier-mâché figurines, hot water bottle, wooden calendar plaques and stands, novelty feeders and maps, music books, McVitie's biscuit tin, as well as foreign translations of some of the little books. <laughs>